Hi, I'm Del Smith, professional snooker player and coach and founder of snookerstuff.com and we feel that uh, it's a good idea to actually do a virtual sale rather than just look at a little picture online like every other website. We want to give you just a bit more to choose from when you're buying your, your maybe your first or second snooker queue that you've ever bought uh, online maybe. Um, to give you some more confidence, I'm going to tell you a bit more about this queue in person. Uh, being a professional snooker player and world snooker coach, I coach at uh, a lot of the TV uh, events that you see on BBC. Um, I, I have, uh, I've personally had 25 147 breaks as a professional player, um, thousands of centuries, and I know a good queue when I pick one up. Now, this is a machine splice cue. Some of them are hand spliced, done by hand, spliced in with the woods by hand. This one is a machine spliced. It's very precise. The machines that Peridon use are bang on. Um, this cue is a bit on the light side for me, I feel. But don't worry, they come in uh, several different weights, ranging from 16 and a half ounces all the way through to about 19 ounces so that you can, you can choose. When you buy a cue from me on snookerstuff.com, you can ask for a specific weight from 16 and a half to 19 ounces. The cue comes with no lacquer, which is a great thing to avoid all that sticky play. Um, the North American ash is perfectly straight. Uh, it feels great to, in, to hold in your hand. The, the splices here, you've got a large ebony splice, You've got rosewood in the middle, and between two light blue veneers, uh, you see that lovely feel uh, when you run your hand over there. Feels great. Um, the cue comes with the attachments to fit the mini butts that you see on TV, the six inch mini butts that go in the butt there. That goes straight into the butt. Quick action re release joints, proper brass. They're proper made really to last a lifetime. Um, None of that old sort of uh, sort of coming coming undone halfway for a shot. I mean, these these cues from Peridon really are made well and would last a lifetime. Um, the proof, though, on how a cue feels and sounds is in playing a shot, playing a few shots. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to chalk the cue up. Never played with this cue in my life before, so I'm just going to see what it feels like. Feels a bit light for me. I'm used to a heavier cue though. Yeah, it feels okay. Um, personally, I would prefer a cue on a bit of a heavier side. You can hear it a little bit tinny and a bit sort of light feeling. But all the same, if I could get this cue, ask Keridan for a, an 18 or a 19 ounce one of these, I think I'd go for it, personally. I think I could play a good game of snooker with this already, and I've just got it out of the packet to show you. Um, I think in every way it's better to have this sort of um, cell, like a virtual cell, as if you're playing with the queue, almost, um, rather than just buying one off of a picture on a website. Um, I'm gonna try to do this with all the queues on my site, to give you some sort of idea of what you're buying. I like the queue, and I would go for one of these if it was a bit heavier. So I'd ask Peridon for about an 18 or a 19 personally. But there are people out there that like the lighter queue, so it's there for you.